Hey guys, I'm Shea Gaming here. Today we are looking back at the player growth in the Spanish League today. Now, straight away I'm going to tell you two things, as I tell most people in every video of this type. One, these are estimates on player growth. Two, I've only picked out the high, high growth players, where it's going to be a five point minimum jump. So, uh, these jumps could be anywhere from five points to ten points or more. So those are the only ones I've picked out. I know I'm, less, I'm going to miss out a lot of other players you might want to see. If there are any you want to see, let me know in the comment section below. So I will, I will also say that there are not many players in this video with player faces that grow that much. So we're just going to get on with it and see what you think. So starting off with Athletic Bilbao, there is only one player I could pick out with a player face with high growth. And that is Muniain. So, Muniain, um, of course, he had a player face last year as well. He actually starts off, off as a 78, and he is one of our minimums. He goes to an 83, so he jumps up by that 5. Now, I've actually used him in the last game. His fitness isn't too good in the last one. I hope they've improved on that, but he's actually a pretty good player. Like I say, these are estimates. This could end up being a higher rate. Um... I'm going to throw what I also normally do, guys, in this type of video. I throw out a few honorable mentions. Cause, and the honorable mentions are basically ones that jump so high but don't have the player face. Now, I'm going to pick out um, two players in this team that do that exactly that. Um, we're going to have um, Ak. Ex oh, I can't even say his name. <laughs> this guy here, he jumps from a 72 to an 80. And the other guy I'm going to be on about here is um, Lek Leku, um, Leku, which is here. He goes from a 73 to about an 81, so there's a good little jump there. So, like I say, someone you could buy, loan out, make money off, and sell in the end. You know, whatever. Atletico Madrid. Now, you expect a lot better from here, but there's not. There is really not. I could only pick out one once again, and that is going to be the one and only Griezmann. Now, he starts off at an 88. He actually goes up to a 92. I know that's only a jump by four, but we had to sort of. I had to sort of show one of the big guys. Um, that's what he can get to. Around about a 92, possibly a 93 if you use him well. So, yeah, it's not a bad jump, considering he starts so high anyway. Um, we're going to pick out two honourable mentions here. I could have picked out a lot more for this squad. But I'm going to pick out Saul, because I was so disappointed when this player was not done as a player face. Where is he? Starts off an 80. He can actually go to an 88, which is pretty damn good. It just sucks that FIFA have not bothered in doing his face. The other guy... Which shocked me here. This is a really good one to keep a note of, guys. Correa. Now, Correa, I started at 79. He actually shoots up to around about an 88, which is insane amount of uh, jumpage. You know, you're talking for a, a player that's worth about 10 or so million in the start, which could be worth up to 38 plus in the end. So, it's a lot of profit to be made there. Um, right, moving on, guys. Osasuna, no player faces here that would jump up that high. I'm going to say two players. Garcia goes from 74 to an 82. A Berenger goes from a 71 to an 82. So that's all I'll say there. Leganes, again, no one worth mentioning here. Neither is Celta Vigo. Deporto Alves, again, same sort of thing. No player faces. Um, Pacheco and Camarasa. I would say are worth mentioning. Both start at 76. One, uh, Pacheco finishes at 83. And Camarasa finishes at an 84. Camarasa is a centre mid. So that's actually pretty good. Now we get to Barcelona. And we get a little bit more knowledge. A bit more player faces. Okay, so Testegen. Now Testegen starts off, as you just saw right there, at an 83. Now, obviously it's, he's still young. still learning the game. He can actually go up to an 88, which is pretty damn good. I mean, it's a solid keeper. Um, again, you, that that number may vary, but he can get up to around about an 88 if you use him well. Um, the other player I'd like to look at here, Gomez. Where are you? 
signed in uh, Barcelona this season from Valencia. He's a good player. Um, I, I haven't seen him feature much for Barcelona this season. I might be wrong. I haven't followed them fully. But uh, his jump is quite a shocking one, actually. He starts off on 84. He can finish on a level of 90, making him one of the best midfielders in potentially one of the best midfielders in the game. This is an insane, uh, insane jump to 90. Not a lot of people get to that level of 90 in this game, so that's it's an impressive feature there. So, moving on. Mtiti, let's go back to the top. So, Mtiti moved from, uh, was it Lyon? I think it was Lyon. He moved in the summer to Barcelona. I didn't see that coming at all. I've always used him in FIFA's. Since he got his player face, such a good player for me. Um, now, he actually jumps up from an 82 to an 87. That's actually a solid jump. I think, personally, in other FIFAs, I don't think he would have hit that high. I think the fact that he got sent to Barcelona has unlocked a bit better potential in him in the FIFA game. So, yeah, an 87 for this guy is actually solid. It's really, really good. If you haven't used him, he's a very good player to have. Alcacer, I'm, I'm assuming I'm saying it right. Now, he, I don't like him in this game. I used him in the last FIFA, or even the FIFA before, and he was really, really good. And the last time I used him, maybe it was the last FIFA that I used him, I did not find him good at all. Um, I don't know why, so I'm not sure what he's like in this FIFA, but he's got his play face and his jump is an 81 to an 87. So again, it's a really good solid striker here if you want someone who's still quite young and got loads of potential. So, you know, you can't really complain with that. Rafinha. Now, Rafinha, I've actually liked as a player. He's had a few injury problems which stopped him getting into the squad. Um, I think he's going to be a really solid player if he gets a run of games. He actually goes from 80 to an 85, so it's not a major jump, but... Considering, uh, you know, a level 85 midfielder is actually pretty damn good in the game. And I think he's pretty good to use anyway. Digne. Now, Digne. Um, move from PSG. Where are you, you little shite? Oh, there you are. Okay, so this guy, of course, moved from PSG. He actually jumped from a 79 to an 84. So it's a tidy little point, five point gap. Um, pretty solid, really. I think that's a pretty good jump. And the final one on our list for Barcelona is Roberto. Now, this season he's been converted to a right back more than anything. So he starts off at a level 79. He's had his player face for the last two years. And he can jump to an 85, which is amazing. I remember um, in the last FIFA, I actually bought this guy for one of my teams in midfield. I used him as a backup. His growth went up well. He was so good for me. That I had offers of 60 to 70 million pounds in the FIFA career mode for him. And this was in the last FIFA. So, yeah, I mean, really good. Okay, so that's Barcelona. Uh, no one else to really pick up on there. <laughs> Next, we have Granada. But no player faces. Two honorable mentions. Ponce, or Ponce, however you're going to say that. Uh, he goes from 72 to an 83. So that's a big jump there. And the final one I want to mention this team is Boga, who goes from a 72 to an 82. So again, a really, really big jump there again. Basically, these, these tips I'm throwing out, if you don't care about player faces in career mode, I do personally, but if you don't care, these players are really worth picking up on the cheap. Um, Keko in uh, Malaga. Now he, let's have a look, where is he? Just to double check, he is here. I just saw him a minute ago. There we are. So... He goes from an 80 to an 86. Again, big, big jump for someone at Malaga, in my opinion. Um, moving on now, we got none of those. Real Betis. Real Betis, again, same sort of area. Two very good people to pick up. Sanabar, Sanabria, 78 to an 88. And even better, Musunda. 77 to an 88. So, incredible jumps, but no player faces. Madrid. Only two worth mentioning, which is shocking. And one honourable. The honourable is Odegaard. He can go from 70 to an 83, which is a big jump. Um, I'll just show you his face. I'm saying no to a player face. That is a generic face, I'm afraid. But there we go. 
Real Madrid, though, yes. Rodriguez is the first one I'm going to pick up on. Now, I bet that's a bit of a shock to some because he's already such a high level. There he is. You know, 80, he starts off in 87. Love the tattoo, by the way. Um, yeah, he starts off at 87 and he'll only jump to a 92. But I know it's only five points, but the fact that he's such a high level at the start and he can still go up to a 92, that's incredible. So he does become one of the best midfielders in the game at some point. So that's really good. And then Varane. Now, Varane... 84 start. If you can afford to get this guy straight up, get him. Because one, he's great in FIFA career mode. And two, if you're not fussed on him, you'll make a massive profit. Because he goes from an 84 to a 91. I never saw this coming. He jumps to a 91. That's an incredible jump for Varane. Really, really impressed with that one. And now, we've got three players in three different clubs to cover now. We got the first one, which is a mini jump. Probably shouldn't put him in, but I felt bad that there's not many player faces here. So we're just going to go to him quick. Can I, Canales. Used to play for Madrid a long, long time ago. Was said to have so much potential, but never quite lived up to it. Level 79 start. He finishes on about an 83, possibly 84. So, again, with a player face, he could be worth having. Sevilla is the next stop. And it's this guy, Colo Zizia I cannot say his name. I'm so sorry. Um, he's had his player face for a couple of FIFAs. His rating, though, let's just call him Colo. Um, his rating has gone up so much in the last two FIFAs. I think he's had his face for about two or three FIFAs. His rating has gone up and up and up. He's become such a massive centre-back. He started an 80 in this one, which is incredible alone. And he can go up to an 86, which to me, I'm sorry guys, is absolutely insane considering the player we're talking about. An 86. So again, another player worth getting. Then finally, you'd think there'd be more again at Valencia, but there's only one that's worth picking out here, guys. It is Gaia. Now, Gaia starts at an 80. Got his player base, of course. He starts at an 80, and he finishes on an 85. Solid 85. So... That is pretty much it. Now, I know, of course, guys, I would have missed out some you might have wanted to see. But the chances are those ones that I've missed out are either non-player faces or simply do not rise above the points of four or five. And, of course, I've left those out on purpose. I don't see the point of telling you sort of, um, oh, Messi's gone up one or, you know, Rakitic has gone up. Zero or two, you know, I don't see the point in showing you the players that don't grow or don't have the potential to grow. If you do want to see them and you do want more information on them, again, like I said at the beginning of the video, let me know. These are only a select few I've picked out. There's so many to go through um, with non-player faces. There's a massive amount that go up. Um, if so, if you do want to know, let you know. Leave a comment in the section. Leave a comment in the section below. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm on about now. I'm just blabbling. So, again, guys, thanks for watching as always. And hopefully you'll stay tuned for the next video. If you want to make a suggestion on what league you want to see next for the player growths, let me know. And I'll try to get to it as soon as I can. So, again, thanks for watching. And I'll see you later.